Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is June 21st, 2020, and I'm gonna show you something very cool. So this is the second time it happened in the garden in the past few weeks. Um, recently, I just had four bunnies on the other side of, the, of the, the yard. And then last night, I saw the mother rabbit uh, collecting twigs and grass and stuff like that to make her nest. And I put the night cam out and saw her jumping back and forth here. So I know she created her nest somewhere in here. So I think she probably gave birth last night. Um, let's, let's take a look. So this is my arugula bed. Ah, there it is right there. So you can, you can usually tell because uh, do you see all of these uh, twigs or grass that she collected? It's, it's just right there. And um, if you move it out of the way, that is probably where the nest is. Yeah, th it is exactly where it is right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then you can see hair right there, fur. And there it is. See the babies jumping? Let's see how many of them are here. There it is. Wow, the baby is just born last night. So you see the, the, the eyes are still not open and it's very small. So I'm not going to mess with that. I don't know how many of them are in here. So let's go ahead and put this back. Um, the crazy thing about today is it is about to rain, so oh man, I think these I know I know they're gonna be okay because they, there's a bunch of um, bunnies already born in the garden before, so uh, they should be okay on their own. So I don't have to do anything about it, but uh, I'll come back and check after rain and see uh, if if the bunnies are okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Last night we had a ridiculous amount of rain. And this morning I checked and the bunnies are okay. I also put out the uh, the night cam yesterday and the mother did not show up. So uh, I think she's going to show up today because uh, I've done this a few times in my garden where I watch her after she delivers. And usually the first day she doesn't come around and then the second day she would come. So um, the bunnies are fine and they are healthy. So let's take a look. And there are actually four of them. I didn't know how many the other day, but today I saw four. See, there they are. Still pretty small. Uh, eyes are not open. Say one, two, three, four, yep. I'm not sure if there's any more down there, but all I see are four bunnies right now. And they are doing okay. Oh, that guy has something on his ear. You see that? One of them had something on his ear. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. Okay, so uh, we're not going to disturb him too much. Let's put them back and we'll wait to see if the mother comes tonight. Alright guys, so today the mother came and is feeding the baby. Usually they come in the evening and I never get to see them, but this mother is really tamed and she's here feeding the baby right now and she doesn't care. I'm right next to her. So um, uh, the feeding usually takes about a few minutes because they're, they're still very young. So uh, you see how all those hay is on top of her because she dug uh, with her head to get into the hole and then she sits right on top so that the baby can feed. So she's gonna sit there for a few minutes. It's looking pretty funny. But yeah, usually they don't really let you get this close. Now, wild rabbits are very um, shy, but for some reason this, this, this mother doesn't even care that I'm here. So uh, I'll just leave her alone, let her feed the baby, and we'll check back later. All right, guys, today is day number six, and here is the mother. She came today. Uh, yesterday, she didn't come. 
Um, I'm not sure uh, when she usually come, but uh, it seems like she comes every other day. Uh, I think as they get older, then she comes every day. But um, here she is on day number six. She's just feeding them there. I think they're still um, uh, small and the eyes are still closed. And uh, these these things grow really fast. So in 11 or 12 days, they should uh, start running around. But there she is just feeding them. So uh, we'll just see what she's going to do after that. Uh, I have my night cam right there. <laughs> so I usually see what she does. She, she'll feed them and then she'll put them back and then put all the twigs and stuff on top. And then she goes off and, and does whatever. Look, she's done feeding them or cleaning them right now. You can see them right there. <laughs> Some of them are like upside down. These guys feed really funny. They'll just like lay on their belly and then they'll feed and uh, sometimes they fight each other off. But yeah, there are the bunnies right there. I only see three. I thought there were four. But I think she's just cleaning herself right now and maybe she's also cleaning the bunnies. See, there he is right there. And then the other two are, are probably still feeding. They gotten a little bit bigger, you see. Uh, their eyes are still closed. I think they're about to be done feeding. Yeah, I only see three. Okay, she just finished feeding the babies and she put them back into the hole and now she's trying to cover them up. She's just getting all the twigs and she's kind of trying to make them all nice and snug before she leaves. I'm very surprised that she lets me get this close without running away. Okay, today the bunnies are eight days old and the funny thing is the mother did not close the hole last night. <laughs> she left it wide open and you can actually see the bunnies right there. See, there's one right there at the entrance. So um, usually they, they always close up the hole and um, for some reason this one did not do that. It could be that uh, the the there's some heat or something that is involved or I don't know but you see there's the bunny he hears me and then they usually like move around sometimes they'll come out of the hole when they hear noise so this is a um, a good indicator that if you have pets like cats and dogs try to 
um, you know, keep them away from these bunnies because any sound, they will just come out. And so the cats and the dogs can easily get them. So here it is. Um, and you see that? Like he's not afraid at all. Like, like he might want to come out of the hole. Look at that. So um, their eyes are semi closed but I think they're they're about to open maybe in a day or two they should be open and um, within a week more they should be on their own and uh, running around in the garden so these things grow very fast see there there he is right there and the other two I thought there were four but I guess there are three now I'm not sure what happened to the other one Maybe they're somewhere in there, but I don't know. I don't want to disturb them too much. You see? There are two back there. And this one is the most active. He's always... He's always like... Jumping and... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if he can come out and... And say hello. There he is right here. Looking pretty cute. So he's... This is the, the same one that's always... Uh, exploring let's see if he goes back in on his own they usually know how to get back to their nest okay we'll check back again soon okay today is day number nine and we have crazy rain look at this you hear that it is ridiculous right now so the bunnies are over there in the raised bed. Somewhere over there. I'll have to go check once the rain is done, but man, it is crazy right now. Okay, the rain was really crazy and quick and it just came and <laughs> it went. Right now there's still a few drops here and there, but the sun is about to come out and the bunny seems to be just fine. They're they're in there you see that kind of like still sleeping nothing's bothering them um let's see here see their fur is a little bit wet but it wasn't enough to cause any concern so they're still in there so let's zoom in and see see they're just in there sleeping so we'll just leave them alone and then check back later. They should have their eyes open very soon. So um, I might check back tomorrow and then see what's going on. Okay, today is day number 13 and the last two days I did not see the mother. You see my camera is over there. I'm not sure if the camera kind of like stopped or whatever, but I didn't see the mother come by. But um, today, the bunnies are starting to leave the hole. Look at that. So they should be big enough to start roaming around, but I still think that they, they still need the mother for milk. Um, they should start to eat solid pretty soon, so probably going to start chewing on my plants. But um, yeah, the mother should come today. So when she comes, she's probably going to take these uh, roaming with her and then they may not stay in the hole anymore because that's how usually uh, they do it here in my garden. And when they get to around 12 to 13 days, they just start to leave and then uh, they abandon the hole. So um, that's what they look like today. So let's go take a closer look. So here they are, nice and cute. I think they are being fed because they look pretty plump and chubby. So uh, they're probably just waiting for the mother to come. She should be here uh, sometime today, I'm sure. But uh, I'll see if I can capture uh, some footages of her feeding them. Uh, but I, I missed the last two days. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if she came or not. But uh, yeah, that's what they look like now. Um, they should be out of this uh, this nest and out of the, the garden bed and just around the yard pretty soon. So uh, we'll see and I'll check on them and then see if I can capture them 
uh, a few more times all right this is going to be the last update the bunnies have left the hold completely and they are gone so i found them laying around this morning but now they're just somewhere but um i was able to find one of them so here's one right there laying in there trying to stay away from the heat and it's very very difficult to see these guys because they kind of blend into the environment but you see there, that's the guy right there. It's kind of like um, trying to stay out of the sun because it's really, really hot. And this is where the hole was. There's, not, there's no one in there. So, let's see if we can have a peek. And I can't find the other two. They're, they're off somewhere. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, the bunny videos. And uh, if you have them in your yard, just uh, leave them alone. They don't stay around for too long. They may eat a few things here and there. But I don't think they do that much damage. Maybe to younger plants. <laughs> that, that's why many people are upset. But um, if you can... Uh, let them stay and um, or if you cannot then try to uh, uh, make sure they're safe somewhere else okay that's it thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe okay we found the rabbits and the mother so they're just hanging out in the yard there are the babies over there just hiding see that there's one right there that's the mother and there's another one over there I don't know where the third one is they usually just uh, come and go I guess so every once in a while you will spot them and then you won't see them for a while and maybe they come back when they get bigger but uh, yeah these are the babies right here see that's the one over there so um I think she's coming to feed them. See, the other one's moving over there. I think this one kind of froze because he saw me coming. <laughs>